most all firing systems have a test mode or a continuity mode that's used to test the circuits out in the field by sending a very, very low current through your firing cables through the electric match. That current is much lower than the no fire current of the electric match, usually orders of magnitude lower. That way you're testing completeness of your circuits out in the field without sending any type of a current that could potentially fire the electric match. This gives you confidence that your setup is complete and all of your uh, terminals have been wired properly prior to arming the system and firing the display. The test fire switch, uh, once you're ready to fire the display, is switched into fire mode, also known as arming the system. Once you arm the system, typically using a, either a stylus, such as this, or uh, some, some systems have push buttons, toggle switches. Um, either way, once the system is in fire mode, when you hit the firing switches, uh, you will discharge your fireworks. It's very important that once you're ready to arm the system, before you do so, you make sure your entire site is secure, nobody's breached your firing perimeter, and the order to arm the system can only come from the operator in charge. Bearing in mind that typically it's not the operator actually firing the display. The operator's responsibility during the show is to not only keep a watch on his shooter who's firing the display, but keeping an eye on the fireworks themselves as they go off to ensure there's no malfunctions that he may have to stop the display for to make sure nobody's breached your firing perimeter. Three, two, one. 